Alright, welcome back to the birthday special. Why not we're gonna check on Millionaire Third Edition? That's what we just, just said. So. Okay, how many players do we have? Alright, how many people have played? Thank you. All alone, huh? Yep. You need to go over the instructions. Nope. Tell us your name and a little bit about yourself. Tell us, here we go. Here we go. Name of the game. Okay, let's play. It's Millionaire. We are 15 questions away. Now, so, yes, question number yes, one. According to our own phrase, person put a precarious position would be left in the what? Cookie jar, river, lurch, trunk. Yeah. Okay, so like that, let's check it Never heard of that well phrase. Would be left in the lurch. Well, most of them oh. seem to agree. You have 15 seconds to answer. See if I know. Putting faith in the percentages. Okay. You are correct. That's one. Okay, you got the first one right. Let's do it again for $200. Here it is. Two hundred. An energetic or enthusiastic person is often said to come on like what? Gangbusters, Dustbusters, Unionbusters, Ghostbusters. I think it's Unionbusters. You're selecting answer C. Okay. Sorry to say this. But Don't say it's Gangbusters. Here's the correct answer. Oh fuck me. Well, you got nothing, but things can only get better the next time you play. Why did I just have to say that? Millionaire, third edition. Well, that's my first. I ain't giving up without a fight. It's a okay, how many players? Do we have to do this again. I'm sorry, folks. Tell us your name and a little bit about yourself. Well, you know, as much as... <laughs> the month of Pony Cabalize. We're all set, so let's play. Might as well. Cabalize the whole thing. Check out your first question. 100. Something heard, but not pay attention, is often just said to go in one ear and what? Your nose? The, the door? The other? Your navel? Is in one ear, out the other? You're putting your money on answer C. And you're right. That's $100. Oops. And even that score will put you at the top of tonight's leaderboard. Now for $200. What type of powder is Tip Creek contain uh, in the powder keg? Gum powder, talcum powder, baking powder, foot powder. I think it's talcum. But okay, just to make sure. Wow. Hmm, looks like we have a pretty clear choice here. You now have 15 seconds to think about it. 90 is going with gunpowder. I should have known. You're going to listen uh, to the audience, eh? Well, that's between the 50 50 choice. That's right. I so just want to make sure I have to use the audience, just to make sure. That's two questions and $200. Let's see if you can make a three for three. Which of these expressions is likely used to complement someone's stylish new jeans? <laughs> they're fishy, they're feelbin, they're freaky, they're fat. D final. Well, you think answer D is a winning choice. Fine. 
But you're right, you're right. Three down, but 12 to go. And here's your next question, worth $500. In the 1939 movie, The Wizard of Oz, which of the following does this girl call what? Courage, brain, heart, fame. He wants a brain. Do you feel confident about answer B? You are so right. Hey, that's $500 and you're doing great. One more, and you're at the first safe haven of the game. Let's play. The drifters, the flatters, and the five things are a symbol of one music group. Punk, funk, gospel, doo-wop. I think they are doo-wop groups. Because it can't be a punk man. Okay. Can't be funk. And it has to be a drew a a doo -wop. Hey, that's great. You've reached the first safe haven of the game. You can't lose the one you've won so far, even if you miss the next question. Which of these games has a bone yarn? Dominoes, backgammon, jacks, marbles. Which of these games has a bone yarn? Which of these games have a bone yarn? Boneyard. Oh! Boneyard? That's Domino's. A final. You like the look of answer A, huh? Fair enough. Come on, baby. That's right. Yes! Boneyard. I can type this. You're on a roll. Now let's see how good you are with your 4,000. Boneyard is Domino's. That's the key point. The capital of Nevada is named after who? Kit Carson, Jesse Lee Reno, Jedi Smith, John C. Fremont, is Carson Final. You're selecting answer A. Because the last name is Carson, You've and it's Carson it. City, Nevada. Ain't that obvious? Well, that's four thousand dollars, and I here's a chance to make it eight thousand. Take a look at this one. Eight thousand. The landmark Supreme Court case, Brown versus Board of Education, concerned what issue? Teaching of evolution, school prayer, alternative action, school desegregation. Bomb versus the Board of Education. Brown versus the Board of Education? Yeah. Brown, Brown versus Board of Education. And what's the question about it? Uh... In a Supreme Court case, Brown versus Board of Education. Concern what issue? Uh, um, oh, it's public schools. It has to do something with public schools, not blacks and whites. Teaching evolution, school player, alternative action, school desegregation. Desegregation. Isn't it that one? I'm 
Alright. Hey, final. You're sure that answer D is the one? Well, okay. You're right. Yep, that's the one. You are unstoppable. Now let's see you take down that $16,000 question. Here we go, 16. Track and field star Marlon Jones won the 1994 NCAA title in Westport University. Oh, wait, say what you need him. Of North Carolina. Soccer, lacrosse, basketball, track and field. Well, let's see if a lifeline, my mechanic Dan should know this one. Let's give him a call. It's not a truck and fail. So, isn't it possible of oh, soccer? Hey, Dan, Regis here. How are you? Not so good. We were way behind the checkered flag yesterday. You gotta be kidding me. No, it's true. Blew one tire, then the next, and then the next, and then the next. It was a sorry sight. What do you want, anyway? And you take a moment to answer a millionaire question for us. Well, give it to me quick. I gotta get back because Pinky's about to work on the electrical and it just ain't his thing. Here's the question. You've got 30 seconds. Good. That's easy. It's answer C. Listen, I, I gotta run. Hey, you've been great. Guitar Thanks heels, so of course. Answer C is Dan's choice. What it's basketball. University, North Carolina, Tar Heels, basketball mm -hmm. final. You're thinking my friend is right about this one. Okay. Yes, that's it. Yes. 1994 NCAA Men's Basketball Champion. The North Carolina. That's $16,000 a chance at your $32,000 safe haven. Good luck. Mullen Thomas. Here we go. 32. In the 50s, after Burt Reynolds played running back of what college football team? Florida State, University of Georgia, University of Florida, Louisiana State. 1950 stars Burt Reynolds play 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 played in what college football team? Is Florida State Seminoles up there? Uh. Florida State, University of Georgia, University of Florida, Louisiana State. It's Florida State Seminoles. You're happy with answer A. Good. Yes, you got it right. to the $32,000 level. This is a safe haven, so you can't lose what you've already won. No pressure here. Just a shot at doubling your money. You can do it. I know you can. Here we go. 64. 1996. Kelsey Menfume give up what position to become president and CEO of the NAACP. Newspaper editor, U.S. congressman, university president, ambassador to Kenya. Oh boy. 1996, Krause, Kelsey, at K W E I S I M M F U M E or M F U M E gave a what position to become president and CEO to N A N W A C P Fifty on me. Okay, fifty-fifty. That should narrow things down. Oh, yeah. Computer, please remove two of the incorrect answers. Well, there you have it. Newspaper editor or Open congressman. 
Wait a minute. Does the last name go with Congress? Because if it is, there has to be a congressman. You have nothing to lose, so take your chance. We only have 32. Even if we get it wrong, we still have 32. Because you don't know why. Right. And that's the 50 50 did help. Oh, was he a newspaper editor? Because that last name had a ring about somewhere. Um, go with my gut, uh, be final. My final answer? Well, we got 32 no matter what. Taking your chances on answer B. That's right! Oh my god! Wow! It was Congressman! You're at $64,000, and now it's How your chance did at $125,000. Let's play. Was a guess. That was a guess. Now it's 125000 What Ashley wrote the 1988 book, A Hard Road to Glory? Julius Evan, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Arthur Ashe, Jim Brown. A hard road to glory. I think tennis player Arthur Ash. Ash. See if I know. Wanna go ahead and make that your final answer? Yeah, final. You wanna select answer C? No problem. And then 25k. Oh, that was great. $125,000 is yours. But don't forget, one wrong answer and you'll drop back, back to, to 32. 32. Now the only choice is to walk away. Here we go. One quarter. Before joining the U.S. Supreme Court, which of these judges it? Justices had no prior experience as a judge. William Weinchrist, Clarence Thomas, Sandra Day O'Connor, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Which of these Supreme Court justices have no experience as a judge? Ooh. Weinchrist. Thomas, Dale Connor, Ginsburg. Which one was the first? Winecrest. Yeah, that's him. It's Winecrest. It's him. It's him. Want to go ahead and make that your final? Final. Final. So, you're going to stick with answer A. Yes! It's Ryan Chris. Had no experience as a judge. Now, let's see how half a you million a great job. would do. One more question before you go for the big prize. And this one's worth a half million dollars. Take a look. Here we go. Approximately, how many Earth years does it take take the celestial body Pluto to orbit the Sun? 84, 165, 200, 248. How many Earth years for what? How many Earth years does the planet does the celestial body Pluto to orbit the Sun? Let me see, that would take 247 Earth years on Pluto. 
248. Yep, 247.7. Rounded up to 248. Final. Make that your final? Yep. Only well, say final. Even though scientists today call it a dwarf planet. Well, you think answer D is a winning choice. Fine. Any bang that the existence? Yes, you got it. That's right. one half of the million. Now the big one. Okay. Without here it is, any lifelines. Break in the bank. Miss it, and you'll drop back to thirty-two thousand dollars. Get it right, and you'll walk away with a cool million. No big deal, right? Come on, you can do it. Oh, you know where that song it goes. You know that's the last one. Nineteen forty-two. What actress? Cole Patton, a torpedo guidance system now used in some cordless and cellular phones. Hedy Lamar, Betty Davis, Joan Crawford, Veronica Lake. I remember this, it's Hedy Lamar. Call pet in a device like a torpedo used on cordless and cellular phone? It's her. Alright. Eddie Lamar, final. <coughs> Eddie Lamar, final. Yeah, Eddie Lamar, Putting your faith in answer A. Okay. You see, it's with that million. You're a millionaire. Congratulations. Oh, my God. Congratulations, you're our newest million dollar winner. And finally, a chance to show off all that useless information you've gathered up over the years. And now you're a virtual millionaire. Yeah, a virtual millionaire. Of course, it isn't as impressive as being the real thing. But hey, what do you expect? It's just a computer game. Come on, we told you that. But congratulations anyway. We'll see you next time. And yeah, thank you. And thank you for the talk too, Regis. And that's it. Thanks, thanks to Eugene and all of us here. A million dollars. Coming up next year on the birthday special, we got one more, and that is what you've been waiting for. Wheel for the 360. See you there for that.